All right, welcome back my dear students. So in this video, we're now going to be talking about assignment operators. And the first one is the equal assignment operator. And we know that already. It is, uh, we use that to assign a value for a, to, to a variable. Okay. The next one is multiplication assignment. But before we talk about that, let's go to plus equals first because it's easier to absorb. So for example, x. We, so I have declared here a new variable called x x plus equal to uh, a all right so let's go let's head over to our browser and calculate all right so let's make sure we can dis display that display area that inner inner html is equal to x okay so we're displaying the value of x x plus equals a uh, x is remember x is 2 and uh, a is 3 so what's the answer? 5. Alright, so uh, in order for us to understand why is it 5, this equation right here is basically the same with x is equal to x plus a. Let me comment this out to show you that it's the same. Save our work, calculate, and as you can see, it's, it's the same. So here, this is more kind of more understandable in our, in our uh, human, human logic, okay? Because x is equal to 2, and we are setting it to a new value. It's like basically we are saying here 5. Okay, save our work 5. We're setting it to 15. We're setting it to 15. Okay, but right now we're saying x plus a. So basically, we get 5. Why? Because x currently have a value of 2 plus 3. Okay, so this is saying let the value of x be set to the value or the be set to the sum of 2 plus 3 so we are setting the value of x here uh, to be the sum of 2 plus 3 the current value which is 2 plus the value of a now we get 5 okay so that's what it means by uh, x plus equals uh, a so it might take time for you to uh, get, like to get used to this kind of expression. If if you're not used to that yet, uh, feel free to use this in your project. It will still work. It doesn't make any difference. But if uh, if you like get used to coding and be and start to get more advanced, keeping uh, keep learning while keeping learning in programming, uh, start to embrace this kind of uh, algorithm or expression. Uh, because it's a shorter code normally in programming the shorter the code the better but not all the time okay if it's a shorter code but it's not readable that's also not good readable code the, sh the, the shorter the more readable the code the better that's, uh, that's the principle or the best practice in programming but it's, it's just a be best practice right now at this point technically there's really no standard in programming so so uh, 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 take out your worry don't worry keep coding what you do, as long as it will solve the solution, it's correct. And you, if you keep doing that, you get better. You get better, all right? So, yeah, let's move on to um, minus equals right here, which is basically the opposite, okay? So, if we're going to say x minus equals a, all right? If we calculate, that's negative because x is smaller. So, I'll, I'll make this 10. So, this is going to be... Uh, x minus 3 right and it will give us 7 all right so it's, it's it's the same with like this okay x is equals to x minus a we get 7 all right so i hope that makes sense and since you already know the plus uh, equal minus equal it's gonna be the same with multiplication all right and division assignment as well also for the remainder assignment okay and yep and so on and so forth we're not going to be doing dealing with this one because uh, they are rarely used in programming it's very easy to get uh, you know to to add more to our knowledge if we already mastered the, uh, the 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 basics or we have mastered this most commonly used uh in fact they might seem basic right now but in some complex websites we're basically most of the time uh, using the basic arithmetics right over here 
where is it uh, this one right here okay and the if else and uh, yeah those kind of stuff so uh, I think uh, let me just double check if we're missing something so if, if you want to try experiment let's say uh, uh, times equal a so you know already that it works the same like this so let me comment this out uh, I'm talking about uh, this one right here that I think I don't need to explain you can try that in the code so this one right here is is going to be 10 times 3 which is going to be save our work 30 right so comment this out and let's use this and we get the same result okay so I hope that makes sense and I think that's it for uh, the most important thing that, thing that we need to master for expressions and operators. If we keep using that, it's very, very to, uh, yeah, it's the same concept with other things like this one right here. So my recommendation is focus first mastering uh, this uh, uh, expressions that I have shown you in this uh, video and uh, once you master that it's very easy to come back here at developer.mozilla.org i put the link in our resources folder and uh, to check so uh, in reality as developers because uh, uh, we always check for the documentation all right uh, even if you ask other programmers it's always uh, uh, when we try to solve something we always check the documentation that, that's why i started to showing you already uh, some of resources so we have w3 schools and this uh, developer.mozilla.org as well and there are still other things that i'm going to show you uh, uh, during the duration of this course thank you for watching and i hope that uh, this video has been informative for you uh, take care my friend and see you in the next one